If you want to know how you can make your own automatic turret in your Roblox game just like this one, where if the minigun sees me, it will shoot, and if I am out of range or something is blocking my vision, it will stop shooting, you're going to have to make sure you watch this video all of the way to the end to find out exactly how to make this. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new tutorial on my YouTube channel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can make an automatic turret and what I mean with that uh, you know in some kind of military games you have these automatic miniguns or turrets whatever you want to call them and if you get in range they're going to shoot at you and kill you and that is exactly what we are recreating today and I guess it's a little bit similar to jailbreaks one in the military base if you're a criminal and you go in the military base, you will get miniguns and turrets shooting at you if you are in range. This system also includes a little bit of an exception. So if you're standing behind a wall, the minigun does not see you. Um, basically that, you know. So if you're behind a wall, minigun can't see you. If, if you're just in plain, plain base plate like this, then the minigun will see you and then it will kill you. That is actually the, the Dentari system. It, it's pretty simple. It's not that long of a script too. But if you're new to the channel and you like this video, make sure to give this video a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video because honest feedback really helps me out a lot. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, turn on the notification bell, become a member, do anything you want. And all I can say is that without further ado, let's hop right into the tutorial. So... Newbie, what do we do? Okay. In the in the description, there is going to be a link, and you want to click on that link. It's the model, and then you want to uh, get the model, and then head back to studio. So, now we are in studio. I got the model. You want to go to view. You want to go to toolbox, and then it will open this beautiful toolbox. <clears throat> yes. And then you want to go to this, uh, the four blocks at the top, which is inventory. And you click on that, and then you'll see my models. And as you can see, mine is uh, at the top left, Turret Tutorial Newbie. So we're going to click on that, two scripts, just click OK, and then click Toolbox away again so you have more space on your screen. Now you have this. So this is the turret we're going to be using. It looks pretty cool, actually. And then this over here, uh, let me just, oh, here. This is the bullet, but it looks like it, there, there's some a few attachments. You can just ignore that. So what do you want to do? So you open the folder and you'll see replicated storage and workspace. So open workspace and you'll see turret and drag the turret file into workspace and then delete workspace, the, the folder. You'll see replicated storage, do the same. Just put it in replicated storage and delete the folders. This is all you have to do to set it up. Now you're probably wondering, newbie, what are we going to code? So this script is something you get for free because it's literally two lines. I, I did not want to put effort into letting write two lines. So you, you just got two lines for free. Hey, nice. In the turret, in model, and then gun, there is a script over here, the server script. This is the only script we are going to be having to code. And uh, we should do that right now. So without further ado, let's code right now. Follow the video and enjoy.
So that right there was all of the coding for this tutorial. Now we have entered the recap section. And you're probably wondering, newbie, what is that? So basically, I'm going to be explaining most of the code to you so you know what I did. And you can just learn from it. So the only script we did was this one over here. And we are just requiring services. We need the players and replicated storage service. Then we are creating a continuous loop. And we will be adding you to a table if you are a player and if you have a human root part. So if you have those, then we will add you to a table and then uh, give you a number and then put your character in it too. Then the, we're just going to doing some uh, general variables. We are going to do the C distance is equal to 100. So the minigun around itself. So let me just demonstrate that. So this minigun over here, you can see my mouse. This is like the 100 range or something. And then if you enter that, the, the minigun will shoot. Uh, an empty target because we do not know who the, t who the target is. Then we are looping through every player that is possible to, to be like shot at. And then we will uh, get your humanoid root part, calculate the distance between you and the gun. And if you're close enough, then we can shoot over here, as you can see. And then we are going to do Raycast Blacklist. And what that does, we are going to be excluding the minigun itself. So the minigun will not shoot at itself. And it will be actually able to see you. Then a uh, can see player. So if, the, if the, the gun can see you. And if they can. So if you're within the distance. If you are a player. And if you, um, if the minigun can see you. Then the target is going to be your human root part. The, the, the part in your character that defines you. And we're going to be changing the distance. The C distance to uh, the calculated distance. So if there's a target, we just set the target over here. If there's a target, we'll, we will play a shooting sound. After that, we will uh, set the C-frame of the gun to you. So it will like rotate continuously uh, to like to where you're looking at. We are going to be making a bullet. We're going to be putting the bullet in a folder. We're going to uh, start the bullet at the bullet fire position, which is like the end of the minigun, which is uh, like right over here. Because that's where the bullets are going to out, come out. Then we're going to be setting a linear velocity. Uh, so it will like, you know, shoot actually to you. It will move on its own. We will disable a server script. So uh, what this does in the in that server script, we are waiting four seconds until the bullet is destroyed. And basically what that just does is. It's just a little bit of a precaution so that the bullet does not fly forever into eternity. It's just to prevent a little bit of lag too. If you touch the bullet, we're checking if you're a player, that we are going to make you a player. We will remove one of your HP. And we will destroy the bullet. If there's no target, we will stop the shooting sound because that's all we have to do. So this is all you have to do for the turret. So let me just do this. Uh, let me click play. We're going to test this out. Because why not? Now, let's see. Uh, there's uh, there's a turret, so let me just put on sound. Okay, yeah, you can definitely hear that. And let me just give myself some speed so I can actually run around it. So let me just do 50. Oh, not 5. 5 is a little bit slow. <laughs> 50. So let's see what happens if we get in range. Let me just do this. Okay, like that. 3, 2, 1. As you can see, it aims to me, and it shoots a ton of bullets. Let me just uh, make the sound a little bit lower. To a point where it's... Okay, yeah, that, that should do it. Let me just do this. Okay. As you can see, I am running around the minigun. Uh, the turret. And as you can see, it actually shoots at me. As you can see, if I'm jumping... As you can see, it's now shooting at me. I am losing health. If I jump, the minigun jumps with me, kind of. And I can just run around the minigun. And I'm probably gonna die in a little bit. Let me just die. And boom. We just die. The minigun will still uh, keep shooting because your human root part is still there. But when you respawn... It will notice, hey, I can't really respawn. Why am I not respawning? Oh, okay, just took, uh, took, took a long time. As you can see, I respawned and the minigun just stopped shooting. As I promised in the beginning of the tutorial, the beginning, uh, if you are going to be behind a wall, the minigun will not see you. So let me just add in a wall like this. Okay, let me just anchor it, anchor it, okay. Let me just bring this over here. So we are definitely in range. Let me just click play real quick.
Oh, this issue again. It happens a lot when uh, Roblox just turns black on you. Just really annoying. As you can see, okay, we spawn. And as you can see, the minigun does not see me. Do you see that? I could just walk around here. Okay, look. Now it sees me. It is shooting at me. As you can see, I am losing HP. It is shooting at me. But if I get back to the wall, as you can see, it just stops shooting because the game knows, hey, I can't see you. And now if you're going to go over here, as you can see, boom, it will turn this way. So you can just do this. I hope I'm not going to die. I am probably going to die by doing this. Oh, no, I'm fine. And as you can see, I could just walk around the minigun and I can head back. Oh, I'm almost dead. As you can see, oh, I'm almost dead, and I made it to uh, the other side. So let me just do clone a wall and put it on the other side on the server, because the server is always reliable. As you can see, let me just do this, maybe, like right over here. Okay. So the minigun will see me if I'm over here. As you can see, it just sees me, and then it just doesn't see me anymore. Let me just do this. As you can see, it sees me. Oh, no, 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 no. I am dying. And as you can see, it just stops shooting because it knows, hey, who's there? Oh, nobody. As you can see, it stops shooting. It sees me. It stops. It sees me again. It, do it doesn't see me. And it stops. So this is exactly how you can make an automatic turret in your Roblox game. So if you did, in fact, enjoy this tutorial, make sure to give this tutorial a like if you like it. And if you don't like it, please drop a dislike on the video. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell. Become a member, do anything you want, and all I can say is that my name is Newbie, and I say, peace out.